All right, one last geome. I lied last time. I, I can't go to bed and just with just one geome left to go. We gotta we gotta finish this. It was all the way down here, the sea dragon one. Well, it looked like a sea dragon in the overworld. I guess it's just a dragon. That's what's more close-up sprite looked like. It's apparently nighttime in this area. What are you? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Whee! So with the trajectory line though, like. Huh. Are these like... Yeah, it's like a living thing. That's gross. Whatever. Ooh! Pretty space cactuses! Looks like those GM spores are carrying the cactus fruits up to the geome. Oh, we just gotta stand on a cactus thing. Maybe we can hide in here and catch a ride to the geome. Never mind. Oh, no. No! Oh, they... <laughs> They're even more Metroid than the last ones. I just want to see if there's anything else interesting here. There's like a well. <sighs> Ugh, cat hair. Why is there... Ah, there's the air geome circling the sky far above. Ah, worth it. I wanted to see this. Pretty. I gotta kill you though. I'm sorry. The Great Cliff, the Edge of Reason. This is a pretty unreasonable request for fulfilling, so it makes sense. What of you? It just extends forever, just like they say. What do you mean, just like they say? Who said? Everyone around this continent has been dead for centuries. I always hoped that one day I'd get to see one of the ends of the Earth, but... Never thought it'd be under circumstances like this. Still, it's incredible. Well, better get away from the cliff and edge and come away from the plan to get the geome. <gasps> Whoa! No! I need to struggle free! No, bro! Oh, shit! Okay. Hey. Uh, please don't drop me into the thing. Uh, oh, dead. Well. Getting eaten by the GM whether I want it or not. Uh, never mind, I'm just dead. Oh. Wait. I guess the cactus fruit didn't actually work. What is this? Everyone exists for a reason. Uh, thanks for the pep talk, my friend. When you understand the true meaning of obedience, you will see that there is a beating grace to be found in existence. Uh, yeah, this... What? Whatever a higher purpose can be achieved through giving up oneself unto the universal spirit. A vain attempt at individual morality, or vainer yet, an attempt to save each other. Look, I'm just here to kill a big lizard. I really don't need this crap. You may call it fate, you may call it science, you may call it the will of God. Nonetheless, it will roll along, age after age, cycle after cycle. Actually, it won't, because I'm going to blow up your stupid thing. Only after ignoring the minute will you finally see how little it means to be. It's easy to strongly word proclamation of hand. Well, I didn't read that right. Yet listen before you, harden, you of hardened heart. Look, I'm going to blow up your dragon. Just... Just, just, just shove off. Have you ever under envied a flower? No. To be alive, to grow, to die, all clothed in beauty, all clothed in simplicity. No. I really haven't. And yet a flower never envies. To envy is a product of potential power. The potential power within all humans. A flower spread its seed to the wind, but it cannot make it grow. Become a small force with a singular purpose. Look, wind is the part where I bomb things. Have you been aware of your surroundings? You're standing upon holy grounds. Uh, freaking holy space grounds? Holy crap, it's like a freaking spaceship. This cliff interior is a temple, a dwelling place of the Most High. Its beauty is formed not of the might of individual will, but of the obedience of many, but by the meddling of spirits. What happens if I went here first? This is your inheritance and your duty. Take up these tools and continue the work. Let your thoughts and labor alike create a dwelling place for the Almighty. Carve at this stone, and when all is said and done, you will understand why. Wait a minute. 
Does this mean there's no way back to the surface? No, I can't stay here. I have a job to do. I'm done being obedient. No, breathe out. If we don't know anything for sure, just keep looking around. What do you mean? It wants me to carve its statue? Is this what the cycle is all about? You carve freaking crap holes for people? What is this? Is that a person? Are they dead? No. They seem to be alive, but sleeping pretty deeply. Hello? Hello? No response. I wonder if I can wake them gently somehow. Just kick him in the freaking dick! Who cares? This is important. Whoa. It smells strongly of those cactus roots from up above. Should I light it? Yes. Murmur. Obedience. Murmur. So I light this candle. Yes. Higher purpose. Yeah, that's what I snort and like sleep about too. Oh, I can't escape to that obvious exit. Ah, yes, I'm ready. The angel of the Lord, come take me home. Oh no, oh dear. I'm just a person like you. A person. But there's no one here. You are here though. I'm guessing we both got here the same way. I am no one. Are you alright? Can I get you anything? No, my time is at its end. We must you must be here to continue the work. That is enough. I do not expect to meet you. Actually, I can't continue the work. I'm already connected to work above, which I need to finish. Do you know of a way to the surface? Everyone exists for a reason. When you understand the true meaning of obedience, you will see that there is a beauty and a grace to be found in existence. I'm not really one for obedience myself. I do good things, not, you know, just things people tell me to do. That's for stupid butts, isn't it, Parker? Isn't that for stupid butts? Yes. Yeah, don't give me this Vorlon crap. I watched Babylon 5. I know the Vorlons are full of crap. What higher purpose can be achieved? Hey, uh, yeah, I read that. Uh, look, I really got a, I really got something to do. I just don't have time to deal with that right now, okay? There are creatures that want to destroy us. There will always be a reason to put off self-reflection. What a freaking awful response. Uh, hey, buddy, I'm busy, like, you know, something's gonna destroy the whole world. Oh, you're just trying to put off your self-reflection, bro. You want to reflect on yourself, don't you, bro? Yeah. I don't have much time left, and I'm so alone. I didn't think that I would ever need human presence again. Now you are here. What is your name, child? My name is Alice. What are you doing? There's nothing in there for you. Calm down. Alice. What a lovely name. I knew an Alice once in another life. It's actually Aleph, but whatever. Alice, I'll give you information that might help you reach the surface. Will you stay with me for a while? My time is here is short. Uh, yeah, of course. All right. Hmm. In the corner of my room, up near the top, I notice some loose rocks and a faint draft. Perhaps it leads nowhere, but it's the best chance I know of reaching the surface. Thank you. Perhaps you are not the next carver, Alice. Perhaps that's not what I, what I would have wanted you for you. You don't need to speak. I'm not afraid. Rip. Rest in pepperoni, my friend. It's pungent scent lingers upon her skin. I knew that was the escape hatch. Just wouldn't let me. Stupid Aleph. So yeah, I'm not gonna carve your stupid crap. I guess every cycle someone gets stuck down there and they try to carve some stupid temple to some dumb gods. Eh, that's not really my style, frankly. What's down here? Huh, nothing. Nothing is down there. Okay. I made it back to the surface. That net. Those carvings. It felt like a dream, but it was real. I could still smell the scent of the candles. But back to the task at hand. Now that I smell, oh, I see how the puzzle works. You don't smell like the fruit, so they won't pick you up. But now I smell like fruit because of the candles. Take me, Metroid. Take me. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Uh oh, is it smelling me? Phew. Those cactus fruit scented candles must have described my scent. Looks like I'm going to the geome. Om nom nom. Huh, neat little animated thingers. 
I like the like starriness of like it's like neuron neurons or whatever those are supposed to be. Parky, would you call? Ugh, would you calm down? What are you doing? Calm down. Is this the first area where we can like fall off the world? I'd rather not fall off the world personally. What is that? Oh, it's a ghost. Yeah, get to oh, I'm frick dead. I'm surprised falling off the world counts as a, you know, horizontal energy death. Ooh, music chicken in. Yeah, get screwed. Oh. They don't get caught by the light, they just can't enter it, I see. Oh, wait. I have to go up. There's more of those sparkles. Interesting music here. It's kind of ambient. Ooh. Wait, how do I get up there? I get it, I get it. Whee! You think the sky one would mostly all be about the vertical stuff? Parker! You can't get in there! Cut it out! Parker, no! Hold on. Parky! Parky! No! There's nothing interesting in there anyway! Get off! No! No! What did you do? No, go play somewhere else! Calm down! You have toys! Go play with your toys! Go play with this thing! Here! About that. Alright. Wait. Better save. Whee! Uh oh. Oh. Double uh oh. Okay. Parker! He's super into this stupid Ottoman thing that you can open up. There's nothing but shoes in there, idiot! He just likes anything that he's not supposed to be in. It's the magical trove of secrets. Uh, little dumb butt. He lost all interest in getting in there when I left the uh, lid off of it. But now that it's there again, he wants back in. <sighs> and I hate just leaving it open, cause like, it looks stupid. What the? Oh, it's a ghost caching device. Excellent. Who are you gonna call? Wait. No. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Nope. Not quite. There we go. Alright, so the trick here is to trick the ghost into hitting the thing. There you go. Stupid ghost. Dang. This one's a big one.
I guess also that guy, he must have been sent to, uh... Wait, no, that doesn't... How would he still be alive, though? But yeah, that seems like that must have been the guy who got sent to destroy the, uh, dragon, but he never returned. They should have had a backup plan, like, dang. Wait, it's really that easy? Oh, wait, no. No, it's not. Oh, frick. Oh, come on. There you go. Shouldn't the shield block the, the wall energy? Oh, whatever. Very nice, like, abstract, like, crazy background, like, it really sells the starry idea very well, of the whole starry dragon thing. Splur, okay, easy room. <laughs> Get out of here, you ghost. Nobody likes your style. Uh oh. I do like this ghost style though, because he's required to leave the room. Parky! There you go. Imagine dying, becoming a ghost, and somebody uses your ghost to operate a trivial mechanism. Like, that is your faith. That is your fate. You, you, you're a door opener. You are an ethereal door opener. And that is your, that is your hell for the next forever. You're just door dude. All hail door dude. Door dude sandstorm. <laughs> oh man, why, 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 why? What the- what? What just happened? All of my screens just flashed. I'm gonna stop the recording. Just in case something's weird. That was weird, but everything seems alright. I can't tell if my screen got lower resolution, maybe? I don't know, I think... It, it looked a little weird when it came back, but... I'm probably just imagining things. Yeah, I don't know what that was. It might have been a display driver crash. Usually it tells me if a display driver crashes, though. I haven't really had that happen in a long time. I think that... That was mostly a thing on my old laptop. I used to have display driver crashes once every few weeks. Or maybe a month, but... Still annoying. You just zoom right past these rooms. Oh, we... Oh, okay. Uh, hey, ah, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Damn it. No. dude come on oh, you just don't understand surfing you're just a square yeah okay this one feels like it has a lot more rooms than the other ones I mean, it's just because there's tons of short rooms I guess okay ghost Heal me. Yes, thank you. This ghost is here to keep you alive, which is kind of funny. Alright. Uh, oh, wow. I need to catch so many freaking ghosts. Wait. Oh! Only one of them is the real gate. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Not as hard as it looked. Not as tedious as it looked, rather. Also, I'm pretty sure... Everyone's probably already noticed this by now, but I'm pretty sure her uh, hair bits are um, supposed to be colored based on uh, the uh, the two elements. Uh oh, heal me, heal me, thanks. Keep me alive, honey. Oh no, 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 no! Keep me alive, keep me alive. Fuck! Why, why can't I jump? Oh god, this is the worst, because it's the horizontal stuff. So my jumpy ability sucks ass. Okay. Heal me. Thank you, ghost. Uh-oh. Alright, we're out of here. We're out of here. We're out of here. Oh, hey, and into the brain hole. Same routine, infrastructure. Alright, let's blow this thing sky high. Or, I mean, it's already sky high, but let's... Let's do bad things to it. Oh no. Oh no, what? Okay. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Alright. Where... Oh, okay. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. I see. The, that's the rub. Not too hard. I guess I may as well go all the way down. Oh no, not that, not on that wall. All the way down. Wait, not the exit. Huh? Aw, oh, come on. Go. Oh, nice! The exits let you travel back up. That's neat. I was annoyed that we would have to like do a long double trip sort of thing, but it's not that bad. Ooh. Uh, there we go. I don't know why, but this just gave me a flashback to my college dorm room playing tons of uh, Pokemon Diamond. I guess Kalos isn't remembered, or no, that's Sinnoh. Uh, isn't, the Gen 4 games aren't remembered super well, but uh, I don't know, every generation has its haters, except for Generation 2. I don't think you can really be, like, I, even Gen 1ers can't really be too down on Gen 2. I don't really think there's any major arguments against Gen 2. The, the worst things about Gen 2 are all directly because, you know, it's preceding Gen 1. It's just... You know, some of Gen 1's faults, it carries over, like the, uh, physical... The lack of there being a physical special split. Bombs are planted. Time to f finally put this all to rest. Boosh! Bombs went off inside the air geome. It's a crash back down to the Great Cliff. Alf safely made her way back to the ground. I, I mean, with the other ones, I see how we got, well... No, honestly, only with the big one, the the ground one, I see how we got out. How did we survive that? That's pretty lucky. I guess it's good that we did that one last, because it wouldn't really matter if we died, honestly. It would matter to me, but I mean, you know. Job's done. That's what's important, right? Saving the world. Well, we are the big hero. Everything is fine. We're gonna go talk to Creepy Mayor, dude. And 
and uh, everything's gonna be all right. And we got a we got a swanky new house. We only got to sleep in it twice before we had to go to you know dead continent. But hey, just consider it a vacation. You know where you have to kill a bunch of giant horrible monsters. That's a that's an okay vacation, right? Who doesn't do that at a vacation, honestly? Can't I just go back? Well, I guess it'll probably want me to talk to the ra on the radio. Wait. There we go. I guess I want to take a nap. I don't know. I, I would kind of just want to go straight back. Especially since they said it's not too long to get back home. What's up, buddy? Their geome, the final geome, is destroyed. Shh. Mayor Briggs, Whiteforge. Shoot, what happened? Is the connection out? I guess I just head back to Whiteforge now. Act 5. Oh, there's another act. Uh-oh. Return to Whiteforge. Okay. No spoilers in the title, huh? I'm not sure how long this total section was, but I think that's about... I think we'll cut it here and continue along.